Greetings, Great Witch here. So today we're going to play some golf. Figured we'd play nine holes, have a little fun with that. This is actually one of the, my favorite little mini game type deals that we have in GTA Online. It'd be cool if we had fishing, but they put that in Red Dead, so that's kind of cool. So let's go in here and play some golf. Like Alright, so I'm on hole one. This is a par five, 531 yards. And hopefully I'll put it right down the center. Ah, perfect hit. That's awesome. And but it's drifting off into the rough. Still, that's not too bad. Needs a three iron. Just doing a normal hit. Let's see if I can put this right up here in the center spot. Now you might be like, why do you want to play golf? Well, golf is actually one of the easiest ways to build up your strength. And when I had to build up my strength in the game, this is how I did it. Because back then, the only way to do it was you had to have another person. You had to go into the one of the clothing stores, and then they shot you or something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. But it was something crazy like that where you needed another person. So this was pretty much the fastest way besides that to do it. And that's why I got into playing the golf. That's actually not too bad of a game. This is it, this could be a good standalone game if there was more holes and different maps and stuff like that. So Rockstar should consider that because it's not too bad of a little mini game. I mean, there's some parts of it that should kind of suck. See, check it out, birdie, first hole. That's pretty awesome. But you know, it's nothing too bad. The real main problem in this game is the wind. It's ridiculous. If it's over a mile per hour, then the wind is ridiculous. That's pretty good. Got through those trees. Thought I was going right in the sand. I hate it when it cuts away to the camera and I can't tell where the ball's going. But as long as my character's happy, I'm happy. Now this one right here, you got to get past this tree. So the trick I like to do is to shoot for the collar, which is right over here. But it is kind of difficult to do because you can put the ball out of bounds and then you get a stroke. So you got to be real careful with this right over the edge of that tree and boom right onto the green just like that pretty cool and another thing I wish they had in this game was a driving range that would be pretty cool just to practice using the clubs they don't have anything like that oh look at that putt that was awesome for birdie first two holes got a birdie All right, so this is a hole three, par three, 168 yards. I've actually gotten a hole in one on this, and I try to do it every time. If you aim right in this area, you get a pretty good shot of it. The wind will mess you up on this. And just trying to get it to the exact right spot, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but if you can do it, a hole in one is pretty awesome. I actually have a video somewhere about it. Oh, well that's kind of poopy. But, I can sink it for par, and that's not too bad. Boom, not too bad at all. So I'm still two under. Alright, so this one's kind of a weird one. Let me change my club. This is five iron. Give me a little bit more distance and bring it right up to the edge of this tree. There we go. Ooh, I just barely missed that. That was actually a really good shot. That's pretty good. I'm probably proud of that. Cool beans. Perfectly lined up for the green. Which is kind of weird because the, the flags in this game are not correct. The flags, well, the flags that on golf courses that I've actually played on, the flags are set up by where the hole is on the green. So most of the golf clubs I play at are it's red, white, and blue. Red will be the front of the green, white will be the middle of the green, and blue will be the end of the green. And that'll tell you where the, the cup is actually at. And this, all the flags are red. So it's kind of weird. So I'm actually used to looking for that colored flag to know exactly which club to use. Because yes, I actually play golf in life. It's actually a really fun sport. Game. It's not really a sport. A sport you play with a team. This is more of a game. Cool. 
kind of rough, but I might be able to fix this. I gotta go over this tree. It's gonna be hard to do. I don't think I can go under it. Let's see. I can't go off to the side. I'll put it in the sand. Bring it up some. I might be able to go over it. I'm about to switch my club. I'm down to the 8 iron. That might be enough if I hit it hard enough. I don't know. As long as I get it over the tree, I'm happy. Alright, let's take this hit. Cool. I knew it. Yeah, but I got over the tree. And that was all that really mattered. What's so this? I can get down there pretty close. Change this approach. I like to use the punch. That way there's not too much ball in the air. It does it closer to the ground. It's really important if the wind's blowing any further than one mile an hour. Because the wind in this game gets ridiculous. And if it gets up to six miles an hour, give it up. Well, that was pretty cool. Got that for par. Awesome. So far I'm three under. Not doing too bad. Not bad at all. Now here's another par 3 with 235 yards. It's actually another one you can get Holden's one on. I've had a couple friends get them right here. I have not ever been able to get even close. So that was closer than sometimes, but most of the time I don't even get close on this one for some reason. And it's a perfect shot. Yeah. Oh, what the French toast? That's stupid. A little gimme tap for par. That should have been a birdie. I got robbed. Rockstar robbed me on that one. Alright, so this is one of my least favorite holes because it is so easy to get an out of bounds on the left side on this one. So you got to kind of move it over to the right as close as you can, but without getting into the trees. It's kind of a tricky one, especially if the wind is blowing real hard. Not too bad, not too bad at all. As long as it's on the green, I'm happy. On well, the fairway. Alright, so let's put this on the green. Change my approach. Oh, that's not going to work. That's going to put me in the sand. Actually, I have to go normal on this one. That's not too bad. The wind's not blowing hard. I can get it to drop right here in the safe spot. There you go, right there in the safe spot. The safe spot is the lighter colored spot on the ground in the fairways and on the greens. That's where everybody usually hits to. That's the way it was explained to me is that's the safe spot. You want to aim for those spots. Oh, I pooped that up. But the long putts are hard in this game. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I got a bogey? Oh, robbed again. Man, I'm pooping up that hole. Alright, hopefully I can fix this with this hole here. If you can hear that dog barking in the background, my uh, roommate's dog is losing his mind. I apologize. That's a pretty good hit. Right down the center of the fairway. Now this one is a par 5. And you think it might be pretty easy because it's just a straight line. But the trees in this one are actually the major obstacles. Because you can drop it right underneath these trees or right before the trees and they will completely block your hit. So this one I kind of try to put out in the grass, right on the side of the fairway. Oh, that's going in the sand. Whew, no, it didn't. All right, cool. It's in the rough. I prefer it to be on the collar, but... Actually, I prefer it to be on the green, but anywhere I can get close is cool. All right, so I'm going to change this up to punch. It's got a good wind going, two miles an hour, cutting right across the green. Let's see if I can drop this as close as I can. Oh, I didn't hit it hard enough. Nope. 
Should have went to the other end of the yellow line. It's a good flat putt, though. Oh my goodness. I am getting robbed on these putts. And that's where you make the money is putting. Yeah, you can drive all day, that's for show, but putting's what makes the dough. So keep that in mind when you're playing golf. The putts are what's important. Ah, I choked that. That's not too bad. So you can see that light colored area right in front of me. That's pretty much the safe spot. That's where everybody's dropping the ball. It'll let you know that you're going to get to the next spot pretty good. And then here we're on our last hole, par four. Let's see if I can get this close. Nope, I don't think I'm going to be able to use punch. I might have to go for the approach. Wind's blowing right across the green. It's going to drop this pretty far. Not too bad. I'm on the green, so that's a bonus. Let's see if we can sink this putt. This is a long putt. Oh, too hard. It bounced right over it. That's just ridiculous. Get a little gimme tap. Cool. That's pretty awesome. All right. Well, that was golf and GTA Online. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace.